Hello stampers, this is Super Awesome Stamper Shirley Marker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, USA. I am going live in the one-of-a-kind rubber stamp and scrapbook virtual event. This is the start of my one hour here. It's 10, 15 a.m. Central Time. And I'm going to check my feed and see if I'm coming up. Uh, give me a shout out, add a comment if you can see me live. And while we're waiting for my feed to come up, I will show you the card that we are doing today. It is the waterfall technique. This is a technique we learned many, many years ago. So I've been a demonstrator 20 years in August. This is one of the first techniques that we learned when eyelets and brads were super hot and we used an eyelet or brad to secure that down. I don't see myself yet. Let's me, here we go. Now I see myself. Let me click on that and see if I can see comments. There we go. All right, Lori Ann, hello, Karen. Hi, Shirley from rainy New York. You know what, it's overcast here, but we're closer to the Canadian smoke here. I am up north, Wisconsin actually, just south of Menominee today. And hello, Sandy, Carla. Hi, Robin. Uh, Robin, did your mail deliver yet this morning? Hopefully your kits are in the mail today. Uh, hopefully, yeah, like I said, sometimes our mail comes early, but it's usually around noon that I get pick up here. Uh, Robin, great day to craft. Yep, Tina, took me a few minutes to find the live. Yes, it always takes a minute to pop in. We are gonna do this waterfall kit and they have uh, the people at one of a kind, Brian and Carol and the crew, have generously offered an hour live demonstration time. So we will have time for actually two demonstrations today, catalog tour, going through all the programs that I offer. So let's dive in. If you purchase your kits, grab them. Let's get this out of the way. Your kits actually come in this white envelope. I mail them in these envelopes because I can fit a two ounce stamp on them. So it's always less than a quarter inch. It's really tight though, usually with the embellishments and all the thickness that I provide. So this is the envelope that you're looking for. And I generally write on the back uh, the technique and the month so that you get an idea of, if you've got a couple of envelopes sitting around, which month you need to look at if you need to go back to the videos. So that's the envelope that you're looking at. Hello, Helen. All right. Um, Susan from Texas logging on. I can only see three comments at a time on my screen. Amy, yes, I do have kits left. They are available on my website. So if you wanna go snag one, you can do that during my demonstration or afterwards. I should have plenty, usually sell a few during the session or right after. So go ahead and check that out. I also have currently on my blog, um, the July kits. So. Uh, Amy, you'll have to click on the one-of-a-kind icon or kits in the mail to find the waterfall kits if you want those. Melissa, good morning for Texas. All right, let's just jump in and get started. Where's my envelope here? I got to pick one out and assemble it. All right, your kit would have included an assortment uh, based on what you ordered. The pool party one would have been, oh, pool party or granny apple green coordinates with the Zoo Crew um, set. And today I am going to actually assemble the Cajun Craze one. So Cajun Craze is this one. There's also the Daffodil Delight. Now your pattern paper in the back might be different than what I show on my photos or my samples because I am only allowed to order designer series paper packs just like you with two sheets per pack. So I have to be creative in packing your kits. The other yellow that's included, I don't know if I have a sample of that one. Oh, it might've been this pattern right here. More of a sunflower look than a daisy look. Uh, so, but the card base is always usually what I say because it coordinates with the pattern paper. All right, so let's get started, Helen. Those floral cards are delightful. Yes, this cheerful daisy this year, they did a super job in designing those patterns. And I'm pretty sure that 
the concept artist hand painted these florals and they took photos of those and that's how they got the pattern paper. That's how they do the pattern paper quite frequently with these ones that look artistically rendered is one of the concept artists gets their paintbrushes out and they create their own designs. All right. Uh, yes, Robin, you got all, yes, I do offer, Robin says she got all three types of kits. I do offer a two for kit. You can get the one package which has two kits in it or a package which has four kits in it. And then I pack a, an assembly or an assortment of the pattern papers and the cardstock backers. All right, so let's get started. Um, good morning, Lillian. All right, so let's get started on our open up your kit. We are going to assemble this one together today. Oh, you know what? Oh, darn it. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do this one. We're going to do a mix, actually. I only packed my a garden green. Oh, I changed what I was going to demo mid midway. You know what? We're just going to go with it. Here's what's included in your kit. Uh, there will be an assortment of embellishments. I usually cut my embellishment strips, uh, uh, just one strip, so you get an assortment. Usually it's a colorful assortment, so those will vary depending on what's included in your kit. For this one, these are called the opaque uh, dot, opaque ovals. They're actually little ovals. Um, what else is included in your kit? The inside piece is usually this 8.5 by 11 piece of basic white that's cut into six equal pieces. Um, your pattern paper, the front, I will go through the measurements, but if you purchase a kit from me, it'll be in that emailed PDF tutorial that I sent to you. Um, this is four by five and a quarter inches, I do believe. Let me look here. That's one thing I didn't read down here. Yeah, four by five and a quarter, in case you're assembling along with me. Um, this little strip, set this aside. Do not add adhesive to this strip yet because you're going to want to adhesive one complete side, and that's not how this kit goes. Um, so, what are we going to do first? We're going to do the inside piece. Good morning, Julia from Oregon. All right, inside piece. If you're gonna stamp something on the inside, go ahead and do that now. Now I am torn what I'm gonna do here. I have only a garden green ink pad. Let me think here. Let me think while I'm greeting everybody. Yeah, the oval shapes, um, it's an interesting, interesting um, shape. You know, a lot of times embellishments are circle. These are oval. I don't know if you can see the difference. These are oval. These are the circle ones. So some people got these in their kits as well. I think I've got so many embellishments going in, and they're all new. I can't remember the um, names, but when I go do the catalog tour, I'll point those all out. Now, what do I want to do here? Oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I think I'm going to switch. I think I'm going to swap mid 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 demo here and it's because I only packed the garden green ink pad all right so we are going to swap mid demo I'm going to do the yellow one that is what I because I don't have the Cajun craze to color coordinate got to have color coordinating inks that just is part of the um, law of the land. All right, let's swap out some of these things. Wow, totally messing you up, probably. All right, let's fold your cardstock in half. Good morning, Renee, from oh, White Lake, Wisconsin. I don't know where White Lake is. I am just south of Menominee today. I live near Madison, though. Let's do... Let's do some inking. Okay, so what I did... Forget I'm not going to do the Cajun Craze one because I don't have a coordinating ink pad right with me. I've got the garden green one, which is what I thought I was going to do when I packed my kit. All right, so we're going to do a little stamp in the inside. Let me grab my... I'm going to put this one in the inside and put this one right there. Let's go ahead and ink that up. Like I said, uh, the crew at One of a Kind graciously allowed us an hour um, time. Otherwise, I wouldn't have swapped out. I just would have plowed right ahead and and maybe we did garden green ink with the Cajun craze, although that's not going to match those colors at all. All right, now we've got this layer here. Um, let's see. Yes, I can attach that one. I would advise using your tear and tape adhesive. 
something super strong because people are gonna be pulling on this piece. And we aren't using eyelets or brads, we're just putting these on either side of this to add an embellishment. It, it does not secure that designer series paper. All right, so just center that on your card front. Then I am going to grab one of our strips. Now, your strip is already scored for you. It measures two inches by nine inches. And then I've scored it already at two, two and three fourths, three and a half, four and a quarter inches. And the way I bend my score pieces is I find the mountain and valley. So here's my mountain side up. You can feel it with your fingers. And fold it back that way. So you have a little bit uh, sticking out right there. Which stamp set? The Nature's Prints stamp set, Robin. Here, I'll show you. This is where I'm getting all the stamps that I'm using today. It's the Nature's Print. It has a coordinating die set. This is a carried over set, <clears throat> excuse me, so it no longer has the bundle pricing, but you can order each of the stamp set and the die set individually. All right, now you fold it at once. You're gonna fold the rest of those like that. Okay, so did you see that? And that is so that it kind of, the mechanism works like that. Okay, so it needs to kind of fold all in on itself to make, I don't know, a nine, a seven. What is that? So you're, you want to try to probably accordion fold it. It's not that fold. It's just all in on itself. Okay, so now since I swapped and I have a total little mess off camera here. I need to cut a few things. You have got in your kit already cut these cardstock squares. The cardstock squares are two by two inches, so I need to cut some. This is already at a two. Yep, I need to cut some. But like I said, if you purchase a kit for me, you would have these already cut. Two by two inch squares, you need four of them. Okay. And right, so you've got four of them. I would set those right down in the corner. Next, I'm going to do some stamping. So stamp on your squares however you want. I would line them up and decide which one's going to be on top. I'm just going to follow my sample. I'm not going to make a new pattern. So let's move this up there. Get this on a flat surface. Get that out of the way. Hello there is going to be in the center. I've got this stamp or the flower with the bud in the next one. The next one is Pull this up, the top of the eucalyptus. It looks like you gave like a eucalyptus or a ginkgo to me. At the side, kind of off the side. And the last one's going to be this. Pull it so we can see it. The dried fall shaft, multi floral. All right, and then I did some on the, the Daffodil Delight Strip, but let's do the ink splotches. Where's my splotches? I just did some splotches, and this splotch is part of the uh, stamp set, Nature's Prints. I just want the smaller splotches. I don't want that big splotch taking away from the florals. No splotches on this one, so I did every other for splotches. Let's see, let's do, I think I did it like that. And then I see I've got that little splotch right there. One there. Let's do. 
I'm kind of filling in. You don't have to re-ink every time. You can just use the ink on the stamp. There. Okay, now additional stamping will be on your pull thingy. Stamp whatever. Excuse me, I'm going to stop and take a drink of water here. Hello, Marjorie from Wisconsin. Fellow Wisconsinite, hello. It's super hot where I'm at, Marjorie. It's been super hot all week. Crazy hot. Too hot for Wisconsin weather. Hotter than usual. We don't usually experience this crazy warm weather until August. Great. So I'm going to kind of do every other. Um, one at the top, one there, and some splotches at the bottom. And it looks like I did one here. And it looks like I didn't re-ink that one there. Let's do one up here too. Let's do this one. I don't know. I love splotches. Um, I just love the shabby chic look of it. Okay, so I think I'm done with that. You know what? Do I have to splotch the inside? Uh, yep. Yeah, Lynn says it's hot in Illinois too. It's gosh darn it. It's hot hot all over. It's a good day to stay inside and stamp. All right, let's do, do I want to do some splotches on here? The splotches are going to hang off. Let's just do it and you can see if you like that. There. You know what? I put it down there and put some up here. You can never have too many splotches, right? And actually, I like the splotches because if you get any ink in your hands, you're not going to, and get it on your paper, you're never going to know. Right, it's just gonna look like you have it you wanted it in that spot. Okay, now I gotta find a coordinating. Oh, here we go. I have to find a coordinating color. So in your if you got this pattern, this um Gerber Daisy pattern, you wouldn't have gotten the coordinating D DSP strip because it was the blue. It was awful. Does not color coordinate. And the reason why we have color coordinating um, uh, DSP is to use the colors that coordinate. So this is the other pattern that's one of the other patterns that's in the pack. So I gave you a strip of this. It's four inches by three fourths inches and it's kind of that mustard, mustard look. Mustard uh, kind of um, whitewashed look. Mustard wash look in this case. Okay. Yes, the splotches behind the boo-boos. So, that strip goes there. Now, refrain from putting an adhesive on that strip yet. Tuck your waterfall mechanism behind there. And so now you can see, if you hold it down on either side, you will attach it here at the bottom, and then it will pull through that DSP strip. If I can grab it, it'll pull through. Okay, so don't at attach an adhesive yet. Let's add our little pull. Now this is a retired Stampin' Up! punch. You use whatever kind of punch you had, you have. Got a hole there. In your kit, if you got a Daffodil Delight kit, it would have been a pre-colored piece of ribbon. Now the ribbon is colored with a Stampin' Up! Blend and the Light Daffodil Delight. The ribbon comes in this ombre balmy blue. It is called, what is it called? Variegated Ribbon in balmy blue. And you can kind of see the variegation. But what I did for all y'all is I took the fat end and I colored it. So another tip for you to use, another use for you to use your blends. You can use it to color ribbons that are kind of matte. Probably shiny ones too. But it's great if you want to purchase a roll of ribbon that's light colored or white. Because then you can use your blends. You can even use your Stampin' Right markers. Stampin' Right markers just take longer to dry. The blends will dry pretty quick though because they're alcohol based. And see that's all I did to color your ribbon yellow. You get a, about a foot of that ribbon so you're not going to use um, all of it. I think this was six inches. Five and a half inches of what I have cut in my kit. And uh, 
yeah, uh, Laura, yeah, coloring ribbons is a very old technique. I think at the beginning of the video, I said I've been a demonstrator for 20 years in August, and uh, I've been stamping for longer than that. So Stampin' Up! is 35 years old this year. We've been stamping close to that, close to the whole time that Stampin' Up!'s been around. My mom sucked us all in, that's the story. Almost every single one of the crafty um, relatives, sisters, cousins, nieces got sucked in because mom was introduced to stamping. And that's a good thing, right? You got to have shared interests, shared hobbies, something to do while you're together. All right, so did you see what I did while I, while I was talking? I poked it through and then pulled it through. Very old technique to get a ribbon and then uh, ribbon through a hole. You can even just do a simple knot. And then I like tails that are angled, not flat tails. All right, so there we got our pool. Hole. All right, now let's line up our squares again. It doesn't really matter at this point. We're just going to attach our basic white squares. The basic white squares measure one and three fourths by one and three fourths. They are squares to put on our two by two inch daffodil blade cardstock. Just center them on there. Tracy Foss, hello from Wisconsin. A lot of people in my area online. I am from Sun Prairie near Madison. When I moved to Sun Prairie, we were just, we were not linked geographically to Madison, but now it is all built up on the corridor between Sun Prairie and Madison. I should have a fourth one here. Here we go. It's all built up with shops and apartments. Okay, now hello is going to be my top one. And ooh, move up a little bit, and then that one, and then this one, and then that one. Very technical terms. This one, that one, this one. All right, let's clean this up a little bit. Now, where's my strip, waterfall technique strip? Now, you're going to assemble up. Okay, this square, the bottom one, gets adhesive on the entire square because we're covering the square on the bottom there. Just line it up corner to corner, use your fingers and put it where you want it. Okay, now your next little squares, you just I would just put adhesive actually on the mechanism. Something that's strong, tear and tape. This is stamp and seal. Because this is going to be pulled. And then you just line up the top of your square to where you've got the adhesive and that score line. You can kind of use your fingers there to line it up. Thank you, Marjorie. It is a neat card when it's done. Oh, you know what? I looked away and it's not square. Let's pull it up. Now, if you have brads and eyelets in your stash and you want to swap out your embellishments for brads and eyelets, you are certainly welcome to do that. But think somebody who gets this card is not going to pull the mechanism a lot. So it's not really that necessary. Unless you're giving to somebody who has no idea what stamping is and uh, they'll pull it a lot. All right, now let's get back to the mechanism here. Let's look at my sample card. Let's open it again. So you pull it and you can see the bottom square, my bottom square with that dried sprig is attached to the DSP strip and the DSP where the mechanism is does not have any adhesive on the back side that faces the card. So you're only going to put a little bit of adhesive on either side, something super strong. And I would line it up. The way I line it up is I leave a little bit of DSP peeking out at the bottom where the ribbon is and then oh it's a one and a quarter inches up let me check that because some people like exact measurements yeah 
This is one and a quarter inches up from the bottom of the DSP. That's where it meets the bottom of the three-fourths inch uh, pattern paper. So I'm just going to lift that up, secure it on one side, lift it up, and add some adhesive. Oh, I didn't do the... With the Stampin' Steel, you kind of got to raise it up and, and uh, break off that adhesive there. Okay. Now, it's still not going to work. It's just going to slide like this. So what you're going to do is pull this up. Position your mechanism again. Add your adhesive just inside where that mechanism is going to run. Maybe two strips, maybe try to cover it all. And there, I'm lining it up a little bit DSP at the top, a little bit poking out on the bottom. And then making sure everything is straight and then just pressing down. Wow, I totally didn't get that one straight either. Is that going to bother me? Probably. Just kind of tuck that a little. Move it a little bit. There. So now your mechanism works. Look at that. And you can put a little secret message here. I think I did it on one of them. Let me see. Yep. Best wishes and happy thoughts, which is part of the Nature's Prince stamp set. Tuck that right there. Okay. Slide that back up. Okay. All right, Diane. Um... Uh, thank you uh, for really enjoying my um, projects. Um, what is this DSP? This is the Tearful Daisies DSP. I will do a catalog tour. We've got plenty of time to do one of those today. So it's part of the Cheerful Daisies DSP pack, which is on sale for 15% off through the end of June. The Zoo Crew a pattern paper, which is uh, the other kit, is also on sale for 15% off. All right, so your last thing to assemble or to add would be to grab your embellishments and I have a caution. There's these opaque ones. Okay, I had to cut it to fit your card. It actually is a strip like that. Um, find some embellishments that have yellow in them. So so my, my workspace got totally jumbled. You might in this kit have the embellishments that have three on a strip. Let me do a little bit of cleanup here because um, I'm going to move some stamps out of the way here so I don't get ink over everything. And I'm going to try to find that strip that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Mm, here we go. All right, one of your kits, you might have gotten this strip. And it has three each of five different colors. I didn't notice till I was halfway through packing kits and some kits had already went out that there are three different sizes. So I would recommend setting these aside and using them for another project and open up your other kit and see if your kit has um, some green or some yellow that you can add to this kit. I just didn't like uh, a different size on either side. I wanted the same, same side. So you might have gotten, these are the, uh, these little embellishments in your kit. Which does have two green, two blue, two like pinkish, reddish. Um, well, these are actually a pool party and two other uh, shades of blue there. So the green, which I have added there, would actually work as well. Although I don't think those are the, those must be from, we have, these are from the tinsel packs and there's three and four gems so again open up your second kit if you got this strip in this kit and see what's available to add your embellishments all right enough of that i'm going to add the small ones here one on either side and i'm going to actually put the ovals up and down not side to side <gasps> she says alora says we all feel the meaning pain of messy crafting well yes and I have the added pain of trying to keep everything in screen off camera I usually start and put stuff 
on the right and move to the left, but uh, I'm kind of putting stuff on back to the right because I got a couch right next to me. I'm not in my stamp space. I'm somewhere else today. So, all right, so that completes that kit. Now, I was not going to complete the second kit with you so that I had time for a second demonstration and other um, ideas, but the, I will talk you through the second kit. Let me fold those in there and talk you through the Cajun Craze kit. Cajun Craze is the same thing if you have the Nature's Print stamp set. Oh, this one I put here on my mind. And best wishes and happy thoughts. And those are all from the Nature's Print stamp set. You've got four different sayings there that you can put wherever you want, but the hello there is really nice for the top one. So same thing. Oh, then the Cajun Craze, you probably got these embellishments like I said, I use all sorts of embellishments in your kits, color coordinated. All right, so, so for the Zoo Crew stamp set, you either got, let's move that out of the way, a Granny Apple Green card base or a Pool Party card base. And you either got the hiking animals in a tree or you got the on the go alligator, rabbit, sloth, and fox. And I think there was another choice too. Or you got, let me get some out here. Uh, da, da, right here. Or you got, um, is this more of like a, well, different sloth, raccoon, elephant, the Koala with cupcakes, that one's really cute. The dog or fox, whatever you want. I want to say that's a dog. Um, that would have been one of the prints, and that's the back side of the print. So you might have gotten a selection of those. Or you might have gotten a selection of these, which are super cute too. So I generally include stuff like the images that you have to cut apart. I generally just cut a chunk off and put it in your kit. So open up your envelope to make sure you don't have like one image like stuck inside your envelope. So, on the back side of those. So you would have gotten, <gasps> yes, those papers are so cute. And they're pre-colored. All you gotta do is cut them out, fussy cut them out and add them to your um, card and you're done. Oh, that's an armadillo. Uh, let's see, armadillo, armadillo. Oh yes, that is an armadillo. Gosh, did I say sloth? I'm oh, sorry about that. We don't have any armadillos in my area. Um, all right, so you got some fussy cutting to do for this one. It's the same kind of technique. You add it. Oh, I know the tip I have to do. Are there stamps? No, Robin, there are no stamps included in your kit. And I cannot include these stamped images in your kit. So for this card, you would have needed to purchase the Nature's Prints um, stamp uh, on your own and provide your ink um, to stamp those images. So we can never include stamped images in our kits. That is a rule Stampin' Up! imposes on us and that is so that you purchase some products from us actually. Um, if we did everything for you except for including the adhesive, there is zero fun in that because you are not able to stamp your own images. Alright, so for the Zoo Crew and for the other animals, you're going to want a fussy cut and you're going to want to make sure that you put your largest image on the bottom because they're ostrich, I think, included in some of the kits, which is taller than two inches. So put the ostrich down here on your back, on your last little reveal, and that will overflow to here and fit. Um, the alligator, of course, can run off. And what else? The, these all fit really well. But if you get like the elephant, uh, the elephant would have to go on the bottom one there. Or just choose to put the elephant on the inside and stamp a little message. So those are the tips for um, assembling the Zoo Crew kit. All right, I'm going to check my list here. I got the demo done. I'm going to do a catalog tour next. Um, the, yes, Robin, the Nature's Prints is available to buy through my online store, asterisks.stampinup.net. 
That's just my online store where I sell these Stampin' Up! products from. Tina, thank you for loving my kits and or those images. I don't know what you love, but... Uh, yes, Kathy already fussy cut. And Kathy and anybody else who is assembling the second kit, you can fussy cut while I do the catalog tour. So all the products that I use in the kits are from the annual catalog. You can download a catalog from my blog at superawesomestamper.com if you don't have a paper copy from me. But here is the Nature's Prints stamp set. I did tell you that it includes the Nature's Prints dies. They are sold separately um, because it's a carrying over item. But let me see if I can find one. Here's a brand new one, a brand new bundle that's in the catalog. I just wanted to point out that a lot of the brand new bundles, the first introduction in the catalog, they are bundle priced with a bundle item number that gets you 10% off the individual pricing. So make sure that if you like a bundle, you purchase it when it's first introduced to get that 10% off pricing. Now, not all bundles are introduced at the 10% off pricing. I just wanted to make you aware of that little square there and the difference in the catalog. Um, colors, we've got Oh, we've got five color families plus the basics collection. So we did do a color fresh refresh this year. We retired some colors, which I do have some ink pads for sale. Um, I can, you can send me a PM if you want to know what ink pads I have left for sale. I think I have about half of them left that retired. Um, anyway, I digress. We've got new in colors and we have some returning colors. We've got new, here are the new ink colors for this year. In colors last for two years, and every year one retires. So this uh, collection that is good through 2024 20, will retire, and in 2024, in the spring, they'll introduce another color. So in my kits today, I use the Daffodil Delight, um, Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blend to color your ribbon. In my actual stamp, I use the Garden Green Ink Pad. And then the Cajun Craze, of course, has coordinating Cajun Craze ink. Um, if we order the kits, do we use the host code you're currently showing in the upper corner, Monogas? No. The host code is for um, when you purchase through new catalog products that are available through my catalog at the online store right there. So the Kits in the Mail program is a unique program through me. These are kits that I design and dream up um, that are available through my blog. So this is if you want to order the actual rubber stamps, ribbons, embellishments, all that good stuff. That's what a host code is used for to, uh, to actually purchase Stampin' Up! product. That host code links your order to me if you've never purchased from me before and allows me to earn some host rewards um, when you use the host code. Do not use a host code if your order is greater than $150, excluding shipping and tax, so that you can redeem the host rewards yourself. And if your order is greater than $99, you might consider joining my super awesome Stampers team. Now, oh gosh, I have a little, I am digressing here. I thought I had a little flyer about that. Here, I don't think I do. Yeah, but I'll go through the new demonstrator promotion next. Let's finish that catalog tour. Um, Tina said she's so sad I cannot get the individual color packs of the 12 by 12 cardstock. Tina, I do believe, let me, let's, let's check on the catalog tour. Let me check on that for you. Let me just go back to, we actually have on page, Tina, to address your question, page 125, we have 12 by 12 cardstock in the color assortments. You are correct, you can no longer purchase individual colors. However, sometimes in the mini catalogs, they do bring back like um, basic colors, red and black and white they've brought back. But that's just because they don't sell enough of the 12 by 12 cardstock to stock all of our cardstock colors. So you would get 20 sheets of each, two of each color if you order in the color collections. All right, the pattern paper that I used is the today in my kits would be the freshest of daisy and the 
Zoo Crew. Those are on the promotion, the 15% off promotion. Uh, a lot of the pattern paper is on the promotion, not every paper pack. So you want to go to my blog at superawesomestamper.com. Scroll to that uh, blog post that has the image of all the paper packs. I know this one is on special. Pretty sure Gone Fishing is. The Earth and Elegance is. And the Delightfully Eclectic. And I think the Countryside Inn. I think Bright and Beautiful. Like I said, a lot of them are on special right now. Only through June, though. And what's on special will also show up in my online store. So you'll get that 15% off if you purchase by June 30th. Okay, embellishments. You got an assortment in your kits. Some of you might have received number three and four. It's the Tinsel Gems three pack and four pack. The, the other ones that I included would be number five, Adhesive Back Solid Gems. They've got the three colors there, the yellow, the blue, and the Cajun Craze. Some people might have gotten the Glossy Dots assortments with those are the brights colors with like the melon mambo and the gorgeous grape um number six on this page the 2023 2025 in color dots are the ones that have the three different size per sheet and then the opaque ones are right there i think that's all the ones i included uh ribbons here's that balmy blue white like i said it's great for coloring hair and glue ribbon would be a great choice to color according to your um, project with our Stamparent right markers or your blends. And then the other ribbon that would have been included is the Lemon Lime Twist from the Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. And back here, I'm just going to point out, I mentioned the bundles. Here's the coordinating dies for the Nature's Print Stamp Set, no longer on the bundle price. And that's it for the catalog tour. All right, now I got enough. I got a lot of things to go through here. We're gonna fill this hour. Um, here is one of the sheets from the Cheerful Daisies pack. So it is pre-printed with all these backgrounds, or you can just use it with this um, mauve uh, watercolor water brush or um, paintbrush look. So I wanted to uh, show you how to cut this apart. Put it here. So look for these straight lines that go all the way through. This is just a tip. If you see it real quick and you buy the cheerful daisies, you know exactly what to do. Line it up in your groove. And let's pull this back. Slice. Okay, now look for the next uh, line that will be a straight cut. Oops, that's the score. All right, let's set that aside. Next line, that'll be a straight cut. Here. Now the rest of these are just straight cuts. And these are great for another score. Um, instant back roads. I did a 50th anniversary with this one. It'll be on my blog after I mail that card. Um, there. This one I used in the triple time um, card. So I've got a program called Simple Specialty Samples. And, oh, I'm off here. Um, where we do different techniques that are really easy, but something a little different than just a plain square on a square card front. And that's called Simple Specialty Samples. And that's the second demonstration that I want to do today. Okay, what else here? This one. So in a short amount of time, you got a lot of backgrounds here. Like I said, you can use that for a focal point or flip it over and just use the um, mob. This one I'm going to share. Let's see. This one I just posted to my blog. I'm in a blog hop once a month. We did a happy birthday blog. So here's this one in a card. Just put a white background on it. May your greatest wish come true. Pretty sure those are from the Ladybug. Hello Ladybug stamp set. Put a brush, brass, butterflies around it. Stamp happy birthday. Mounted it on early espresso. 
And there's the quick one for that. And I don't think I have any more samples for the rest of these with me because I mail everything that I, everything that I make, I mail out as thank you cards. Um, okay, so there's that. No, Helen, this, that single sheet that I just cut up is not available per, for purchase. It is part of the Cheerful Daisies, let me pull that back in, Cheerful Daisies DSP pack, designer series paper. That's what it stands for, the DSP. Be here, stamp up demonstrators, say DSP. That's what, that's what we call our pattern paper. Cheerful Daisies. Here we go, Helen. It's this piece right here. You get two sheets of each pattern in a paper pack generally. So you get two sheets of those to cut apart, two of these sunflowers, two of the Cajun craze that I used on my card, two of these blue. I don't think I have any blue samples here. Nope, not with me today. I used them all up. Two of these mauve um, pastel daisies and two of these, this print right here. So it's generally two of each unless you could get these larger packs, which are... Um, 48 sheets for 12 double-sided. Okay, so hope that answers your question. All right, I'm gonna do something else. Oh, simple specialty samples. All right, this is the one that is our simple specialty samples feature for July is this diagonal quilt. So it is an email PDF tutorial. And, um, that I include as a thank you for a lot of things. This is another upcoming one. It's called a, what did she call this? I can't remember what that one is, but that is an upcoming Simple Specialty Samples. And I give those tutorials away for Simple Specialty Samples as thank yous for something. But if you join my team, you'll get all the PDF tutorials that I um, collaborate on in your email inbox. All right, let's see what else I got. I got 14 minutes left. What else have I got here? We're going to discuss this and then we're going to do the second demonstration real quick. Here is a faux stair step. Now, this is my fantastic fun folds tutorial. It is a monthly edition PDF tutorial. There are 13 samples in this tutorial plus written instructions with sample of measurements and cutting directions and assembly photos. So in that tutorial, we'll feature this, this sample. This is the one I featured in that tutorial. But for my July kits in the mail, I am featuring this Gone Fishing and this Pink Lemonade uh, design for my kits in the mail. Oh, there's the backside. And then the inside's got this inside spot where you can write your message. So this I just posted in my blog this morning. It's called Faux Stair Step. You'll see these samples on there. You won't see this one on there because that is part of the actual tutorial bundle. So you'll get actually 13 different designs in that bundle plus 14, 15 designs if you make a purchase. So you can purchase just the tutorial for the Faux Stair Step. You can purchase my 12 month uh, this Fantastic Fun Folds, which is one tutorial a month. And um, the first tutorial of the month was this waterfall one. So if you do make that purchase, which is $24 for the 12 tutorials, and you purchase a waterfall kit, I will get you another tutorial um, to make up for the fact that I'm using uh, some of the, those tutorials in my monthly kits in the mail. So I make good on making sure you get your money's worth for that $24 purchase. But if you just want the faux stair step tutorial, you can purchase that just for $5. All right, so that's currently up on my blog. Okay, what else do I got to go through here? Let me check my list again. Catalog tour. Yes, hell, my blog is my hub of my business. That's where everything is posted. Uh, the blog posts do zoom to my um, business Facebook page, but the blog is where it's all at, where you can make purchases and uh, learn about the Stampin' Up! promotions. All right, DSP cell I went through, simple specialty samples I went through, the faux stair step I went through. All right, now do new demonstrator opportunity. If you'd like to join my super awesome stampers team, I welcome you to join my team. Hello, yes, that would be great. I email you a monthly kit in the mail, or a monthly card. It's a surprise in your mailbox every month. 
Plus you'll get all the PDF tutorials that I collaborate on, which is I think up to four. Um, let me write them here. Sp simple specialty samples would be cards like that. It's a little fun twist on the card front that doesn't require a lot of effort. Fun fooled fanatics. See, we got three letters for all of our things. Would be things like these that you need more detailed instruction and written tutorial or written um, measurements with photos. Oh, inspiring pretty paper projects. I get email that one if you use a host code. So use that host code and you place a new product Stampin' Up order for me and you'll get that inspiring pretty paper projects. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, and then there's one more. Simply Specialty Samples, Funful Fanatics. Um, oh my gosh, no, I'm, I'm blanking out on the fourth PDF tutorial that I collaborate. I shouldn't. Or is it only three? Um, it'll come to me in a minute. But anyway, you'll get all those if you join my team. And right now, you can join my team for only $99 plus tax. And you get to select $155 worth of product uh, in your starter kit. And that is promotion Stampin' Up! is offering. As demonstrators, we cannot add additional incentives for you to join our teams. That's just something they do to level the playing field. But after you get on my team, I'm certainly happy to send you all or email all the PDF tutorials that I participate in. All right, this is going to be the bonus uh, demonstration today. It is the color fold. It was our um, uh, a recent simple specialty samples. So, so again, a little kind of twist on a card front. And I'm going to demonstrate that one with you. And if you place a product order using this host code, or if you ordered from me this week, you'll also get this colorful simple specialty samples emailed to you in your inbox. I have not caught up on my... Um, doing my thank yous this week, so it is on the way if you purchase for me. All right, so collar fold here, really simple is, I gotta put my um, paper trimmer the right way. Now, this measures four by five and a quarter inches. It should anyway. Yep, four by five and a quarter inches. And what I'm gonna do for the collar fold is, oh, which way do I want, these are going kinda all which way. I'm going to do it up here, actually. So I'm going to measure to two and five eighth inches. You need a piercing type uh, paper trimmer for this. So, uh, run it to one and three fourths inches. And I'm going to stand up and see if I can see this on this print. I can't. I have to flip it over. Two and five eighths. Here. It's paper pierce it to one and three fourths. Now I say you need a piercing type blade. Um, because your little piercing blade you, blade, you can stop and pull up at one and three fourths inches. Okay, that's all that is to that one. And then grab your bone folder and flip it down. Oh gosh, guess what? I picked the wrong pattern paper. I don't like this blue. I think they should have put like the gray on this one because it doesn't color coordinate when you flip back. All right, so here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to do a flip back that a collar fold with. I'm showing you what not to do. You don't want to do a flip back with a uh, pattern paper that doesn't have a coordinating. What's in this one? This is this one. Let's do this one instead. Okay, we're going to discard that. I will probably, I will probably put this back. I'll do something else there. Maybe I'll post it to my business Facebook page later today. Well, but we'll cover that up. We're not gonna throw that away. Um, no, we did not do that. All right, let's do this one instead. Two and five eighths. Let's stand up again. S cut to one and three fourths. Okay, this is like this much better. And then you just fold it back. Now, if 
if you look at the card, it's on mounted on basic white. And the easiest thing uh, is to have pattern or basic white piece that is the same size as the designer series paper. I packed, I did not pack a full piece of um, basic white with me. And what I have packed is not going to be wide enough. All right, so you're just going to have to imagine you're going to mount that on a basic white piece that's four by five and a quarter inches. Stamp your sentiment, put some ribbon on there. In this case, this balmy blue white. Um, and if you want this frill, frill, I, I like doing this frill. Let's show you what I do with this. Oh, I need a flat space to do my adhesive. All right, put some adhesive on your collar. This frill is you put some adhesive down and you just make pleats. There's no rhyme or reason. Just make some pleats. This would be a 12 inch piece of ribbon. That's what I'm stuck on here. If you don't like your pleats, just pull it up and do again. This one is not staying because I don't have any adhesive on that side. Any last minute questions? I uh, got through that. Oh, I have one more thing here. Oh, I think I went through almost everything. Okay, so current promotions are 15% off designer series paper sale. Details on my blog or through my online store at sjsinks.stampinup.net. New demonstrator promotion. I, if you're a demonstrator on my team, you get a snail mail card in your mailbox every month. You get all the PDF tutorials that I participate, participate in emailed to you. I'm here to help you if you want to just um, host a party or two, or if you just want to purchase for yourself. Um, I am a no pressure upline, and I will offer the support that you need. I don't pressure you into having any kind of a business. If you just want to purchase because you need a discount on products, seriously, that's the number one reason for joining. And actually the number one reason for me joining 20 years ago was because I got product shipped right to my door. I worked outside of the home at that time and I did not have time to go to those craft stores. And way back then, um, it drove me crazy to have cardstock that did not match the ink, that did not match the ribbon, that did not match the embellishments, and Stampin' Up! did that, um, filled all those needs. I prefer to have everything color coordinating and at my fingertips, so Stampin' Up! still does that for us today in a wider range of products than what we had 20 years ago when I signed up. All right, so I would mount it on here, and... I don't know, do I want to try the, I got, I got a minute here. Let's try what the garden, you know, let's try what the garden green ink pad looks like. Sorry about that screech. Yes, these, um, these cases that they redesigned a couple years ago are really tight. So if you don't know what kind of color a tone on tone will look, stamp it and see if you like it. Yeah, I think that will work. Stamp it on a place where you're going to cover it up. Okay, now let's see if I can get this straight. There, Ooh, I kind of like that. Let's, let's tap that down. All right, um, Diane says love the tips. Thank you, Diane. All right, again, recap, waterfall, kits in the mail. We still have kits available. I have my new um, post stair step available. If you don't want to purchase kits, but you want the PDF tutorials, those options are there to purchase as well. Oh, and we have to glue that down. Um, the colors. We don't want colors that are flopping out, messy colors. There. What's going on here? I'm getting enough adhesive. And then pull in your embellishment strips. So I like to give you a variety of embellishments. I try to change them up each month. 
Um, go through all the embellishments that we offer. We could put the ovals right there. Um, if you can't find your paper piercing tool, you can grab the end of your scissors. I think that's it. I better log off because Ken Oliver's is next at 11.15. Thanks for stamping with me. Hope you enjoy our day. And we'll stamp with you soon.